blackout conditions. As we move forward in design, it's going to be extremely important for us to start to maximize this exposure to the park, and the city, and the western facade. When we talk about flexibility, it's pretty simple. It's just kind of allowing uh, your rooms to grow and shrink according to the event that's planned for the, the week or the day or however long. So, for example, on this first level, we start to introduce that first level of flexibility, um, allowing two rooms to grow from 3,600 square feet, or sorry, shrink from 3,600 square feet down to 1,800 square feet. This elevated bridge connection, we understand that it should be more than just a dribble tube, a nondescript connection to the hotel. It needs to be beautiful, the potential for some program, maybe a restaurant or a cafe, maybe even leasable space up there, and provide that cohesive experience from the hotel to the bridge, to the convention center. We really want it to read as one cohesive first class experience. So now we're up on the third level. This is our second meeting room mezzanine. We're about 56 feet in the air, or sorry, 48 feet in the air in this level. Um, this is where we really start to dive into the flexibility of the facility. So what we've done is we've provided two 10,000 square foot, what we're calling junior ballrooms. Um, and what that does is it gives you the flexibility to have two rooms of 10,000 square feet, or you can fully demise those rooms into four rooms of 1,800 square feet with their own dedicated pre-function and exiting. Just above that level, we have what is, I think, the most important aspect of this facility, and it is the, uh, the ballroom experience. Um, again, we don't want this ballroom to become a black box that just kind of sits on top of the convention center. Um, this is our chance for that giant architectural civic statement, and we want to add an extreme level of flexibility and uniqueness to this ballroom with the ability to open up those front doors of the ballroom and experience that 10,000 square foot pre-function and then continue that experience onto a 6,000 square foot outdoor terrace. The ballroom is planned as 30,000 square feet. The way that we imagine it is that the ballroom experience as a whole can transform into a 46,000 square foot experience that is leasable provide you the adequate um, experience and views to the park, to the downtown corridor. You can really start to be that, that unique um, uh, event space that the city really um, strives to want or need. Expansion is, is extremely important. We don't know exactly what the market is going to be like in 10, 15, 20 years, but just providing uh, that level of uh, adaptability uh, in the convention center so that when the city does grow and does feel the need to expand, um, the expansion is, is, can be done cheaply and uh, uh, cost-effectively um, as possible. We understand that there's going to be vehicular drop-offs, meeting space, dining and retail, um, you know, public, public areas, convention center specific areas, all this stuff is going to be on our site. And how we really start to maximize and design this to be a cohesive plan is going to be important as we move forward.